Let's talk about hormones. Lay down in my soul. No, not be weak. You say I'm okay. You saw me dress in diamonds. What we got. Welcome back to a new YouTube video. I know it's been a while <laughs> But if you don't know me, I'm Mona from Healthy Holy Life and I post healthy plant-based recipes and lifestyle tips and help people reach their fitness and health goals. I stopped taking the pill about a month ago and without further ado, here's what I did the past month to balance my hormones, improve my gut health and simply feel great in my skin again. Short disclaimer, I am not a professional, at least not yet. I am planning to become a health coach and offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, but yeah, I didn't get it yet. So this is just what I did and what helped me. But if you have serious issues, it's always best to talk to your doctor and seek out professional help. And now let's dive right into the video. My first tip is to focus on whole foods and balancing your blood sugar levels. I recommend this to anyone, no matter if you're trying to balance your hormones or not, but making sure that you give your body all the right nutrients is especially important when you stop taking hormones. This supports your body in hormone production and helps getting back a regular cycle. It's also crucial to make sure to keep your skin as clear as possible and reduce acne. Focus on including healthy fats. Examples could be avocado, nuts, no sugar added nut butters like almond butter or peanut butter and seeds. Also, make sure to eat enough protein, primarily from plant sources like tofu, tempeh, edamame, chickpeas, vegan skewer or vegan Greek yogurt, black beans, lentils or for convenience, you can also add a vegan protein powder to your meals. Complex carbs like potatoes, quinoa, whole wheat bread or sourdough bread, sweet potato and brown rice are amazing carb sources. Also make sure to eat greens like spinach, kale, lettuce and sprouts daily. They are so good for you. The goal should be to eat a diversity of colorful vegetables and fruits every single day. And also make sure to focus on supporting your gut health by eating probiotics from fermented foods like kombucha, sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, tempeh or sourdough bread. Also make sure to eat enough fiber. Reduce your intake of highly processed food and sugar, caffeine and alcohol since they are all linked to cause hormonal imbalance. I know they taste amazing, but just make sure to find your own kind of balance. My tip number two is to consider taking supplements to support your body. This is super helpful to make sure your body gets all its nutrients and it might reduce some of the common side effects like bad skin, bad mood or low energy. Make sure to talk to your doctor before you consider taking supplements. My favorites are zinc, magnesium, a B vitamin complex or even probiotics. Tip number three is to reduce your overall stress level. I have to break this one apart because there are so many things in our life that could cause us to feel stressed. Sometimes we don't even notice it and stress feels different for everyone. For me, I can feel it immediately in my back, neck and shoulder area when I am stressed, which is often causing me to get a headache and feel irritated. Here's what helped me reduce my stress significantly. Making sleep a priority. Dimming the lights, making my bedroom as cozy as possible, wearing a cute pyjama, getting a nice book to read, all help me see sleep as something super enjoyable rather than something I have to do. Daily walks and scheduled breaks completely changed my life. It's super easy to drown in work, school or college work, but intentionally planning a just a 30 minute walk each day or maybe even 10 minutes or taking time to meditate, sitting down to have a meal in nature and planning to have time for self care. This really made me appreciate the small moments each day that calmed me down and reset Regular exercise that does not stress you out. This is so important. I stopped doing HIIT or heavy weightlifting because I felt like it completely stressed out my body. Instead, I now love going on longer walks, doing Pilates, stretching or lifting lighter weights while doing breaks whenever I feel like it. Don't feel the need to do a 30 minute hardcore HIIT workout um, without taking any breaks. You will still make progress. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips were helpful to you. And let me know if you're interested in seeing gut healthy recipes um, or any other kind of video you would like to see and just drop it in a comment below. Bye. Baby, it's you and me. It's only you I see. Yeah. Yeah. If we talk about anything, girl, let's talk about us.